We're delighted to uh, announce today that Kathleen Shear is uh, returning to Hobart. Uh, a huge signing for our club and we can't wait for Kathleen to get back here and uh, commence our NBL One South campaign. Yeah, Kathleen's signed a contract. Um, we're working through all the visa process at the moment and now at the stage of looking at flights, there will be a, a quarantine period and all of the, uh, the imports are still subject to um, travel restrictions into Australia, but we have uh, signed Kathleen and we're working towards her being here as soon as possible. Yeah, our, our club's continuing to liaise uh, with the league head office, but all of the, uh, the signs and the communications have been very positive. So for us, we wanted to ensure we actually had Kathleen locked in. So we have that contract now signed, and now it's just a matter of working through those final logistics. But again, we're very confident of having Kathleen here. Yeah, as far as uh, overseas import, Kathleen is our, our player. There's been no secret that she's been the player that we've been um, you know, talking to during the off-season. We wanted to bring Kath back, she wanted to come back, so there was uh, never any question around that. It was just more about logistics. We are still uh, finalising some discussions with, uh, with the last couple of uh, marquee players for the team. Um, it, it's still the same number of restricted players which we're working on, and most clubs uh, are going with Australian-based players, um, but we've decided to, to hold out as long as we could with Kathleen, and we're delighted now to have her, her signature on a contract. Yeah, well, Kathleen's been back home with family and it's been uh, certainly a challenging time for her to be able to work out because in the US, especially in a small town, they don't have community recreation facilities, really relies on the local schools providing access to the gym. And due to COVID, there's been a lot of restrictions and, and lockdowns with those school facilities. So been a bit of old school backyard basketball and that'll definitely be a challenge for Kathleen and for us is how we actually uh, you know, get her back on court and get her ready for a, a big season. Yeah, similar similar to Kathleen, we had uh, great conversations with Kayla. Uh, there was a lot of interest uh, from her and also for us to try and get a deal done for 2021. But with Opal schedule, Kayla's based in Cairns, so uh, she's now playing with Mackay in NBL 1 North. So who knows if there's any crossovers at the end of the season, but uh, you know, Kayla's staying a bit closer to home this year. Yeah, we, we've got a really local look and feel to our team this year. We've unfortunately been working through some injuries uh, with a couple of our key players, but we still uh, are getting close with two, two additional players that we haven't announced yet. And hopefully early next week, we'll have some further announcements there. Uh, some really further exciting news for the Chargers women's program. Uh, yeah, look, there, there could be one player that, that's uh, coming from interstate. So, we're just finalising um, you know, some of that, that conversation and discussion, but it's looking promising. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have some more news next week. Yeah, we are. We're, we're competing for a championship. It's, uh, it's going to be tough for us. Uh, our pre-season preparation hasn't been great as far as uh, the injuries that we've been referring to. We've had you know, really strong numbers at training, but unfortunately, most of those players have been on the sidelines with injuries sustained outside of our program. So. Yeah, we're working hard to get them back on court, and uh, but you know, for us, it's it's trying to play finals basketball to start with, but ultimately competing for a championship. We are working towards game one, and again, it will come down to, to quarantine periods and uh, that actual departure date out of the US. But we're working towards game one, and until that changes, I've got her name on the team sheet for for game one.